this is Storm Tracker 16 meteorologist Allie Gallo with a quick update on this afternoon's weather. Remnants from Ophelia, of course, giving us uh, bringing us some more rain for our Sunday. Ophelia made landfall as a tropical storm yesterday in North Carolina, and the rain we were dealing with yesterday uh, was more widely scattered. It was definitely on the lighter side. That was because it was the outer edge bands of what was tropical storm Ophelia that was impacting our area today. These are the actual remnants. So we've seen some steadier and heavier rain and we'll continue to see some periods of some steadier and heavier rain through the next several hours. So into tonight and overnight. So isolated flash flooding still possible for poor drainage areas. Although that chance continues to be more limited as we get into the overnight hours as the system pulls away. Sh lingering showers still for our Monday. Then we start to dry out again. Remnants continuing to move offshore the system pulling away. The rest of the week looks to be pretty quiet, but it will be cool with below average temperatures for much of this week. So here's satellite and radar. Again, it was tropical storm Ophelia that made landfall yesterday, then uh, weakened to a post tropical cyclone. Now uh, even weak weakening even more this evening, but we have seen periods of some steadier and heavier rain for a lot of the day today. We've picked up about an inch here in our backyard so far. So a bit of a closer look right now. You can see while it is raining pretty much all across northeastern and central Pennsylvania, nothing all that heavy right now. In central Pennsylvania, a little bit of a closer look there. Uh, parts of Clinton and Lycoming County not even seeing any rain at all, but elsewhere the rain that is showing up on radar, that's really just some very, very light rain shower activity. But it is farther east. You can see some of those darker greens and even some yellows, so that's a bit more moderate. And I think that's the trend we'll see now through the next several hours where we have that steadier and heavier rain will be farthest east. So I do want to show you just future clouds and radar really quickly. So through tonight, Again, Poconos, Schuylkill, Carbon, Monroe, Pike counties, I think the better chance to see some pockets of that heavier rain, some of those heavier bands still setting up overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. But then the system pulls away. And while there is still a lot of cloud cover around on Monday, still a few lingering showers around on Monday, the steady rain comes to an end really first thing tomorrow morning. Again, the system moves offshore. So Monday, it's kind of like a transition day. Again, I think we see some improvements as the day goes on, but it's still a really cloudy, dreary day, actually even looking to be cooler than what we were originally thinking. I think still a, a pretty chilly day with temperatures only in the upper 50s and low 60s. And then we start to see more so improvements for Tuesday and then the rest of the week. So there's our rain chances these next several days. Again, that rain tomorrow is mainly first thing in the morning with just a lingering shower around and then a mix of sun and clouds Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday too, just an isolated shower chance on Friday. So we do dry out much of the week. It features that sunshine, but below average temperatures only in the 60s for highs, 40s for lows. But we also see improvements with the wind. But similar to yesterday, we've had some peak wind gusts over 20 to over 30 miles an hour, 36 mile an hour peak wind gusts today for Pottsville, 28 for Mount Pocono. And we've seen a peak wind gust of 24 miles an hour in Scranton. So I will have your full forecast in just a little while on WNEP Newswatch 16 at 6.